Everyone, David Bommel coming to you from Cisco Live, back with Kareem. Kareem, you got to tell us about, is it RevUp? Yeah, RevUp to Cert. What does that mean? Okay, so RevUp to Cert is our latest 30-day challenge program that allows you to go complete a learning path for a chance to get uh, continuing education credit and research. Is it only 30 days or is it like something that you guys change? It changes every 30 days. The focus for this 30 days is network automation, but after 30 days, something else, it might be security, it might be DevNet, we don't know, but you're gonna see these 30 day challenges uh, for a chance to get your um, recertified. That's great, so um, one thing I wanted to ask you, because feedback from the community, do I have to have a paid subscription to get access to this? Absolutely not, so today our focus is on rev up to cert for network automation. You can simply head out to uh, Cisco U at u.cisco.com, log in, and do this awesome network automation learning path at a free level subscription. Can you show us a demonstration of the one that we've got at the moment? Yeah, definitely. So within Cisco U, if you look up uh, NAE or you go to the link on the Rev Up to Cert page, it will take you this awesome learning path. Yeah. Uh, this learning path cover everything around automation and it starts you with the pre-assessment. The pre-assessment measures your knowledge and allows us to make some of these courses optional for you so you're not wasting your time taking something that you already know. So answer the pre-assessments and go through the network automation course. If we look at the network automation learning path here, we have topics around data encoding with JSON and XML. We dig into Linux and Batch for uh, automation engineers, as well as introduction to APIs. Then we go a little bit deeper with NetConf and RESTConf using Yang models, as well as managing secrets and tokens with something like HashiVault. How do you nice. do that in, nice. in, uh, in, in the real world? And then finally, we do a little bit of NetDevOps pipeline with PyETS in the mix. So you get the whole flavor around what we've been talking about around DevNet and network automation for years. The thing is here that you gotta keep in mind is for us to give you the continuing education credit, we gotta actually know your level. So the post-assessment completions are important because this is how we give you that credit when you finish the entire post-assessment. This is only available for 30 days, right? This is available for 30 days, but we're, like I said, we're always changing it. So for the next 30 days after that, we'll come up with something new, maybe security. But I have to finish it in that, those 30 days? You have 30 days to finish this specific network automation to get 16 uh, CEs. So if I only register 15 days from today, right? Do I only get 15 days or is it 30 days from registration? You only get 15 days from the time you start the, okay. it's a 30 days from May 24th. Okay. So if you only have about a week left on those 30 days, wait, do the next one, or be an overachiever and just do it all in one week. <laughs> I like it, I like it. So, no cost? No cost. There's a specific page I can go to, which we'll link below, where I can see the, the, the 30 day challenges, the, the rev ups, and it, it's changing all the time. So it helps me learn for free, and exactly. then also gives me the, the credits, right? Exactly, so like you said, the link is gonna be below, it's part of CLN. Check it out and go register for Cisco and start your uh, recertification journey. I'll just say this, it's fantastic since Karim and I have met to see you know, what you guys are doing. It's, it's brilliant. It's, it's such you. a change from like perhaps in the past. So love it. Thanks. Thanks. Karim, thanks so much, Appreciate man. It. Appreciate it. it.